tomorrow, of course, we are getting uh, a comic, as we normally do on Tuesdays, along with the patch. Uh, but this time, we are given exactly what that comic is, which is mighty nice. In this case, it's going to be Action Comics number one, which is the introduction of Superman himself. Uh, Lois Lane and Superman's Origin is coming to DC Dual Force and Action Comics number one. Action Comics number one was originally released in April 18th, 1938. Lord. It introduces us to the world uh, of superheroes. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. So it looks like we're going to have a choice here. Either super leaping, super brawn, or super speed. So we'll see, of course, tomorrow how that affects uh, certain cards and such. But this, this right here, the rewards, looks like a job for a lowest lane profile and a thousand dual coins. Now, looks like a job for silver ultimate, mind you. So only one can be in the deck, which you get for free from this comic. Draw a gold recruit. If you have exactly one leader, generate gold as well. Wow. What a catch-up mechanism. Like, literally, the one, it's like France in High Places and Tyranny, but in uh, Might. So all those ties... I love how it's, it's called. It looks like a job for, her. and then of course you all you don't want to get Superman. But yeah, if you're playing from behind where one of your leaders is dead, you basically not only pull it, but you can play it as well. It's crazy. Although it's anti synergy with I don't know unexpected help, kinda like you could technically, um, like if you have unexpected help in your hand, you could technically get like a gold recruit and then unexpected help afterwards. But uh aside from that, that's it's a pretty sick card. Superman or any other gold recruit springs into action with looks like a job for. If timed correctly, you will generate a gold resource for your newly drawn gold recruit. The new card is our first ultimate action released as a comic reward so remember you can only include one copy of this card in your deck enjoy action comics one look forward to seeing what you will do with the new ultimate comic card i would not be surprised uh what this month that we end up getting a lot more might cards seems how there's only a couple of might cards that's coming with the new set and seems how this new set is supposed to be aquaman themed to a degree that uh it would not surprise me if the future comics for the month of december probably are going to be more might um cards in some way or another we shall see but uh it wouldn't surprise me to me this is pretty much an auto include you include it to your might decks and if you get it early you're like dang you know you wait around with it but still it's still something that tutors for gold and might which is what you want because Mike does have some good uh, gold recruits. You know, Mike plus whatever else you're going with. I mean, to be honest, even with 10th Metal, like you do 10th Metal, you do this as well. Uh, on your silvers, you draw a gold recruit, 10th Metal, get a gold, and then play it immediately. I mean, that's playing a gold a turn earlier than you normally would play it, so... Yeah, so, I mean, with 10th Metal, you don't necessarily have to have a gold in hand. If you have this, you can just pull a gold. So that's kind of a good thing for 10th Metal, I would say. Overall, I think it's... I don't really see a negative out of this card. Other than the fact that it's only one, so it's like, okay. Because it, it's, it's pretty strong, to be honest. And that maybe it clogs your hand for a while. Especially if you're trying to wait until you only have one leader left to get the uh, generation of gold. But, I mean, it's still going to pull a gold recruit for those few times that there's a specific gold recruit that you want. Now, of course, it's 
it draws a gold recruit so you can't seek it like friends and i places like you can't seek specifically and get a specific one but still it's gonna it's gonna be great it's gonna be great i think it's good i think it's a good card and uh good thing there's only one of it because you definitely would want two of them if, if you could but uh yes let me know what you guys think because i think it's actually a really really good card i'm looking forward to uh checking it out tomorrow and if tomorrow we also get new cards if we get all the new cards and the new set yeah it's gonna be a lot of uh deck building and a lot of things to try out tomorrow that's for sure so i'm looking forward to it what you want bitch i'm a fucking phenomenon